Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we got a banger because we're going over the top five things that I do to increase conversions on my store and the best part is they're all free. So guys, I talked about in either one or two videos back, I don't remember, um, a certain technique that I use to get two add to cart buttons on a page and it seems like a lot of you guys were interested in doing that so we're definitely going to be covering that today as well as four other things that I do um, that you can implement for free. So if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe because we're dropping value like crazy. You're definitely going to want to hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified as soon as we drop the next video. Lastly you're going to want to smash that like button because you already know you're going to like this video and you're going to get a ton of value out of it. At least I hope that's the goal. Always trying to provide that free value for you guys. So Go ahead, subscribe, like, and let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so this is assuming that you have watched the other videos or you at least have a decent website with good product photos, with a good description, with you know a bright colored add to cart button, all of the above, that's assuming that you have this. this these tips that I'm talking about um, are things that you can do on top of that. If you don't have the basics, then nothing's gonna work. But uh, if you have the basics, these will help you out. So the first thing that I want to cover is how to do a secure checkout um, badge, but uh, do it so you don't have to install it on every single product that you do, right? So uh, I'm gonna show you a way that it's almost automatic, that it automatically shows up on every single product page, as well as a footer guarantee, which I haven't seen a lot of people talk about, which actually increases conversions quite a bit. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on that first link in the description and that will bring you to this page here which is uh, the secure checkout asset. So these are, it's essentially the code because you're going to have to code a little bit. Nothing too hard. I, I talk about it all in the video as well as the PDF um, but it includes the code as well as the image assets that you're going to need. So uh, it's free for you guys. You can go ahead and download it but you know if you want to you can throw in like you know a dollar, maybe five dollars maybe a hundred dollars I don't know I'm not gonna tell you what to do but uh, you know that's kind of besides the point it's free for you guys because you know I'm dropping that value and I want to help you guys out as much as possible so go ahead and download this once you do we're gonna hop over to the main screen of Shopify and I'm just gonna open up the settings in a new window so we're gonna open up settings and I'm going to files and I've already uploaded these actually, but all you have to do is just literally just hit upload file and it's gonna be these two that you're gonna to wanna to upload, okay? So once we have that done, we're gonna go back here to the online store and we are gonna hit actions, edit code. So this is where you can actually edit the code. Obviously, if uh, you know if you don't know what you're doing, you're not gonna to wanna to edit this because uh, it could kind of destroy the store, but I'm gonna walk you through it so, um, so there should be no problems. Okay, so we're gonna type in products <clears throat> and product template is the one we're looking for. Now, I think it's the same for all the free Shopify themes, but um, at least the ones that I used, I haven't used all of them. But uh, yeah, so th this should be universal. If it's not, I'm sorry, but it should be universal at least for the ones that I've used. So the next thing we're gonna do is hit Command F, type in submit uh, to try to find the submit button, which is right here. And we are going to try to add the first image, which is our safe checkout. Okay, so we're gonna just copy that. Or sorry, we're not gonna copy that. We are, we're gonna go to the text edit and we're going to copy this code that we have here. So this is how you insert any sort of image that you want to have permanently on, on the page. So I'm just gonna copy this and right where it says product submit form, we're gonna do it right above that. So I'm just gonna space down twice go up and we're gonna paste this in. Now where it says image link, we're just gonna replace that with the safe checkout badge. So I'm gonna copy that and we're going to delete that and paste it in. So when we save it, I'm gonna go over here and refresh and there you go, safe checkout. Uh, so this will be the same across all of your products. You won't have to upload or re-upload the same picture every single time, which is pretty easy. Um, it looks a little bit better on, on certain themes, like I use Venture a lot. It looks good on that as well as Brooklyn. This is Debut, which I pretty much never use because I just don't like how it looks. Um, but yeah, so, so that's that. Now we want to go ahead and add the footer. So I'm just going to go uh, copy this, which is the thing we just did. We're going to copy it and we're going to go right below where the product description is. I'm going to space down twice, paste it, and we're going to grab this product, uh, the, the footer here, we're gonna copy that link 
and we are simply just going to paste it in to there, okay? So let's go ahead and save and reload. And boom, four great reasons to buy from us, okay? So now we have the secure checkout as well as the uh, four great reasons to buy from us, definitely going to increase our conversions. Next thing we wanna do is add some sort of guarantee, okay? Which you can put, somebody screeching their tires out there. Um, Jeez, that was intense. Um, so the next thing you wanna do is add some sort of guarantee, um, which I've actually included in the PDF, whatever that I gave you. So we're just going to copy this code and we will go back to the, uh, the code here and right underneath where it says product description, but above where this image is, we're gonna space down twice and we're gonna paste it there. We're gonna save, and obviously you can edit what it says if you want, you know, just delete this and, and edit it. Um, but let's go ahead and reload this. And essentially what it's gonna do is add this promise. You can make like our guarantee, whatever you want it to do. Um, but I also included the click add to cart to get yours now, as well as the shipping being delayed, because I want that to show on every uh, on every product. So, you know, because it's drop shipping, you don't want people to think that it's gonna be there in two days, because it's not, okay? So, uh, so there's that. The next thing that we want to do is uh, add this add to cart button to the bottom of the page right here. So the way you do that is actually very simple. We're gonna go to edit and we're just gonna type in the submit again to find it. And from this form button, we're just gonna click to drag and select. We're gonna go up and keep going until you find the next form. So this is, so form to form, it says form action, cart add. We're gonna copy that um, just so you can see where it is. And we are gonna go back to, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna go below where this image is. We're gonna space down twice, paste it, and I'm just gonna delete, because this is a secure checkout, so I'm just gonna delete that. Save it, and boom, let's see. Bam, there you go. The add to cart button is added, so we can literally just add the product to the cart, and you can see um, that it's working just fine. So that is three down, we got two to go. Let's go ahead and jump into the last two. So the next thing that we can do to sort of optimize this page is to get some sort of urgency and scarcity going, okay? So maybe you have like 50% off, maybe there's only 20 left, you know, et cetera, whatever. So uh, what we can actually do is put a countdown timer here. Now, a lot of people use um, Herify, but what we can actually do is find a free one called Countdown Cart. Okay, so on the Shopify App Store, we're just gonna hit Countdown Cart. Okay. I'm gonna hit Get, and we're going to install the app, and there we go. So now we have it. Uh, this is literally just Herify. So uh, one thing you wanna do is definitely turn it on, obviously, when, uh, when you get it. Um, but the next thing is go to the social proof section and let's see when it pops up. Okay, so the social proof section is this. Um, it's off for me, maybe by default, I'm not sure. Um, but this is pretty useless and it's actually kind of annoying. So definitely turn that off. Um, in terms of the countdown timer, if you want to edit like how many minutes it is, you can just change it from minutes to hours or, or whatever, um, you know, however you want. Also down here, uh, sometimes it has uh, like a little little message that says become a power user. Just click on that, it's free, and it's kind of pointless, honestly, but um, just click on that and that'll allow you to use this section down here. So that's the countdown card, so let's go ahead and reload the page. And there you go. So now you have the countdown as well as the stock timer. Uh, you can mess around with whatever works best for you, but uh, you know, you can change it however you want. The last thing which literally doubles my conversions, like no doubt about it, is having reviews on the page. So you don't actually have to go, you know, talk to customers or, or make up reviews or any of that kind of stuff um, to, to actually get reviews. You can actually use the AliExpress reviews that are already on the page. So what you would do is just go to uh, the Shopify app store again, and we're gonna type in Ali reviews. Okay, and it's, uh, let's see, where is it? This one right here. And we're gonna hit get. 
And you may have to put in your Shopify store name, so that is just uh, whatever your store name, .myshopify.com. So I'm just gonna copy that, paste it in, and install the app. Okay, so now that we have the app installed, uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on Get Reviews. And it's really, really simple uh, to do it. I've already done it, as you can see, 24 reviews added. But um, you know, if you haven't done it, obviously you're not gonna have 24 reviews. So what you're gonna do is just click on Add Review. Um, and I'm gonna, let's just replace these. And you're gonna open up the AliExpress seller page that you got the product from, okay? You're just gonna copy the address here. You're gonna go back and paste the address into here, hit next, and uh, here I usually like to have four and five star reviews. Um, always translate to English because, you know, so it makes sense. I also like to check both of these to make sure it has pictures. And then you might just put in like a random number like 22. And then for all selected, you could use all countries, but uh, a lot of times what I like to do is just the big five. So that's the, the UK, the US, Canada, um, Australia, and New Zealand, because it's, um, you know, it's, it, just, it just makes it easier a lot of times. Uh, you could go for more if, if it's not enough reviews, but let's hit get reviews. Whew. So we have successfully imported four reviews. So uh, yeah, sometimes for some reason, uh, there's, there's not that many reviews from a certain country. So that's why you would maybe incorporate more as well. Uh, but for this case, I think you get the idea. So we'll just hit check now. And there you go. So three reviews, they're five star, one that's four stars. And then you just look through and, and kind of read the reviews and see what we got. So um, obviously, uh, if, second time buying the mask, I love it. Something like that, we could pin to the top because that's a review that's obviously uh, good. Something like this where the box case is smashed, that, that might not be a review that we want to keep on the store. So we could just uh, go ahead and delete it. And then, um, you know, these examples, they all make sense, but sometimes you have examples where uh, it's, it's not in English or it's like half in Spanish, half in English, and you know, it doesn't really make sense. So what you can do is just edit it. And I wouldn't change what the review is actually saying. Keep the general vibe of what's going on, just make it make sense. So like, you know, obviously we wouldn't have to edit this one, but you could edit it if you wanted to and hit save. And I'm just gonna go back to our product page and reload it so you can actually see what it's doing here. Um, so let's go to the bottom. And there you go, there's your reviews. So people can scroll down and read through them and you know they can add your cart, you got all this stuff, guarantees. So guys, those are five tips that I use to actually increase conversions on my website and they're all free for you guys to use. Uh, right now. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell to be notified when we drop the next video and smash that like button because I know you guys like that free value. So go ahead and smash that like button and uh, yeah, I think that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning. Oh, oh.